Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to show you how to set up your bunny's X-Pen, also known as a playpen. Now, we all know that indoor free roaming is the most ideal situation for any rabbit. Lennon is 100% free roam, meaning she has no enclosure whatsoever. Free roaming is what I strongly recommend and all it requires is a bit of bunny proofing. However, if you must enclose your rabbits, an exercise pen is almost always better than a cage. It's crucial to remember that bunnies do not belong in cages. Unlike a cage, an exercise pen is able to change in shape and size and has no roof, allowing your rabbits the space they deserve. The setup of your X-Pen is extremely important and will ultimately dictate your bunny's lifestyle, how happy, comfortable, and safe they feel, as well as how hydrated, stimulated, and active they are. The X-Pen I'm using today is a total of eight feet long. You should not use a pen smaller than this. Bunnies need to be able to hop and stand freely. You should double the size per rabbit. Remember that even bunnies who use a playpen require at least a minimum of four hours of supervised free roaming per day. As far as flooring, as you see, I'm setting this up over a rug that'll provide Lennon with some friction. However, you can set up the pen over almost any surface. Just keep in mind some bunnies may chew on certain carpeting. Here I've just molded the pen into a weird octagon shape, mainly because that's all I have the space for. In no particular order, we'll start with the litter box. If your bunny is spayed or neutered, they'll diligently use a litter box to do their business in, just like cats. Include litter, liner, and make sure that the litter box is filled to the rim with hay, as hay is 80% of a rabbit's diet. I also like to place a little mat or rug under the litter box to prevent it from gliding around. Next, it is necessary to provide your bunny with a hidey house. A hidey house is a little hut or den for your bunny to feel safe in. Since bunnies are prey animals, a hidey house can help relieve anxiety. It doesn't need to be fancy and can consist of anything from a play tunnel to simply a cardboard box with an entrance cut into it. Because Lennon has a hooded litter box, it does also double up as a hidey house. Keep in mind that some bunnies can jump on top of a hidey house and over the pen to escape. In this case, make sure your pen is high enough to prevent that. Provide your bunnies with heavy ceramic food and water bowls. Avoid plastic or metal as they're so lightweight that bunnies can tip them over. I also like to use a bowl stand to prevent tipping. Do not use a water bottle with a nozzle. Bunnies on bottles are always at risk of being somewhat dehydrated. Bottles also tend to build up bacteria inside the walls and in the nozzle. Your bunny should have a minimum of three completely different toys at their disposal. These three toys should be switched out every couple days and rotated with other toys, as bunnies tend to get bored. Imagine being locked up in a room without a cell phone, television, or music. Bunnies need to remain stimulated. Last but not least, a bed is not necessary, but can be a fun little nuance that some bunnies enjoy. Lennon loves her bed, but some bunnies may be keen on destroying any sort of fabric lying around. Keep in mind that the more you fill up the pen, the less space your bunnies have, so choose your items wisely. One complaint that I do hear from a lot of folks who keep their bunnies in pens is that their bunnies will try to chew on the bars and rattle them, which can be kind of loud and obnoxious. This is an indication that your bunny wants to get out and does not like being enclosed. If this is the case, you may want to consider free roaming your rabbits. Thanks for checking in, Lennies. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll be back soon with more surprises. Bye!